哈喽哈喽 t e s t i n g t e s t i n g 阿弥陀佛，请大家记得将手机调为震动或关机。啊，在这里提醒大家一下，你们的手机有调为震动或者关机吗？请大家合作。真佛中，美国西雅图雷藏寺同修，南无阿弥陀佛本尊法，与会大众虔诚恭敬合掌，恭迎无上法王圣尊莲生活佛师母莲香上师，与会大众唱诵莲花红手心咒。大家好，顶礼坛城做大礼拜，礼拜根本传承上师及诸佛。嗡啊吽。
，二拜诸菩萨，嗡啊吽。三拜诸护法金刚，嗡啊吽。四平等一起走。恭请根本上师法王圣尊莲生活佛，生法王座。With utmost reverence, we are inviting His Holiness Living Buddha Liangshan to ascend to the Dharma Throne. Inviting Simu Vajamasa Lianchang to the sixth seat. 请仁波切诸位上师上座，请放声上座，一会大众请就座。We inviting all participants to please be seated. 首先，我们欢迎六大使东周抗力。同修，南无西方阿弥陀佛。The good practice tonight is Amitabha Buddha. Visualize two Buddha lineage: Namo Vairokana Buddha, Namo Buddha Lokana, Namo Amitabha Buddha, Namo Padma Kumara. Namo Living Buddha Lian Shang. Visualize Grandmaster and all Buddhas and Bodhisattvas sitting on top of our heads, radiating lights to bless us. He said, "But not without a mantra." Perform the visualization of the four immeasurables, ancestors and relatives from the father's side on your right, from the mother's side on your left, friends and teachers behind you, enemies and coming creditors in front of you, and all sentient beings around you, together practicing tantric dharma and ultimately attaining Buddhahood. Wake up call. He said purification mantras and the authority mantra. Recite invocation mantra. We sincerely invoke the Holy Red Crown, Vajra Master, His Holiness Living Buddha Lian Shang. Namo the Holy Red Crown, Vajra Master, His Holiness Living Buddha Lian Shang. The Holy Red Crown, Vajra Master, His Holiness Living Buddha Lian Shang. The main deity of the group practice, Namo Amitabha Buddha of the Western Paradise. The main deity of the group practice, Namo Amitabha Buddha of the Western Paradise. The main deity of the group practice, Namo Amitabha Buddha of the Western Paradise. Namo Vairokana Buddha at the center, Akshobha Buddha to the east, Ratna Sama Buddha to the south, Amogasiddhi Buddha to the north, Namo Sakyamuni Buddha, Namo Medicine Buddha, Namo Golden Mother of the Pramodil Jet Pond, Namo Kitsitigarpa Bodhisattva, Namo Padma Kumara, Namo Aurakitesvara Bodhisattva, Namo Manjushri Bodhisattva, 
นามอไมตรีอภิษฐ์สัตว์วะนามอบัจจสัตว์วะนามอคุรุปัตมาสัมบาวะนามอมหาจุนดีพุทธามาเดอโอเฮรุกัสจมาพาลัสตะคินิสอินเดเวนติสโอลพุทธสอุตตรีทิมส์อินเดเทนเดเรคชั่นส์อัลพุทธสัตว์วะสัมมาสัตว์วะนามอมหาพระสนาปรามิตาเกรคโฮเมชิวสินเวสวิเซชันฟูสตูดุตกูรูแอนด์อัลบูดัสเวสุไลส์ฟูพรัสเชียนเดอะกราวด์เดลิสมูดราเซคันด์อัลบูดิสัตวัสเวสุไลส์ฟูพรัสเชียนเดอะกราวด์เดลิสมูดราเซอร์ดูอัลเฮดูกัสแอนด์ทามาพรักเตอร์สเวสุไลส์ฟูพรัสเชียนเดอะกราวด์เดลิสมูดราฟอร์ทเฮปปา We set completion by uh, mandala offering. We visualize the transformations of the offerings to become innumerable to fill the whole cosmic space. Make the offering above the lineage root guru, all the lineage gurus, Buddha jewel, Dhamma jewel, and Sangha jewel to form bright white light. To make the offering to all the Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Hedukas, and Pasta Kings and divinities, and below to all sentient beings. We set the offering verse and mantra. Mon Meru, four continents and sun and moon, transfer into precious offerings for the Buddhas. May these wondrous treasures and marriage purge our karma to all of us of solution. For full refuge, we solace our lineage root guru, all the lineage gurus, Buddha jewel, Dharma jewel, and Sangha jewel, to form bright white light to empower us. We set the mantra. Namo guru be, namo Buddha ye, namo Dhamma ye, namo Sangha ye. Namo guru be, namo Buddha ye, namo Dhamma ye, namo Sangha ye. Namo Guru Be, Namo Buddha Ye, Namo Dhamma Ye, Namo Sankhya Ye. Armor protection from Vajapani Mantra seven times. We set hiking Guan Yin Sutra. Namo Guan Shi Yin Pu Sa Mo He Sa. Namo Mi Le Pu Sa Mo He Sa. Namo Xi Kong Zhang Pu Sa Mo He Sa. Namo Pu Xian Pu Sa Mo He Sa. Namo Jin Gang Shou Pu Sa Mo He Sa. Namo Miao Ji Xiang Pu Sa Mo He Sa. Namo Chu Gai Zhang Pu Sa Mo He Sa. Namo Di Zhang Wang Pu Sa Mo He Sa. Namo Chu Zun Pu Sa Mo He Sa. Guan Shi Yin Pu Sa. Namo Fo. Namo Fa. Namo Sen. Fo Guo Yu. Yo Bao-sheng-fo,神通-fo,yao-shi-liu-li-guang-wang-fo,po-guang-gong-de-san-wang-fo,shan-zu-gong-de-bao-wang-fo,guo-chi-chi-fo,未来显节千-fo,千五百-
中央一切众生，在佛世界中者，行诸于地上，虚空中，此由于一切众生，各令安稳休息，昼夜修持，心常求生此经，能灭生死苦，消除诸毒害。南无大明观世音，光明观世音，高明观世音，开明观世音。药王菩萨、药上菩萨、文殊师利菩萨、普贤菩萨、虚空藏菩萨、地藏王菩萨、清凉宝山一万菩萨、普光王如来花生菩萨，念念诵此经，七佛世尊即说咒曰：尼波尼波地，求诃求诃地，陀罗尼地，尼阿那地。比尼尼德摩诃迦德，春林春德娑哈，尼波尼波德，求诃求诃德，陀罗尼德尼阿那德，比尼尼德摩诃迦德，春林春德娑哈，尼波尼波德，求诃求诃德，陀罗尼德尼阿那德，比尼尼德摩诃迦德，春林春德娑哈。尼波尼波地，求诃求诃地，陀罗尼地，尼阿那地，比尼尼地，摩诃迦地，真灵称地，娑哈。尼波尼波地，求诃求诃地，陀罗尼地，尼阿那地，比尼尼地，摩诃迦地，真灵称地，娑哈。尼波尼波地，求诃求诃地，陀罗尼地，尼阿那地。比尼尼德摩诃迦德，真林称德娑哈，尼波尼波德，求诃求诃德，陀罗尼德，尼阿那德，比尼尼德摩诃迦德，真林称德娑哈，十方观世音，一切诸菩萨，誓愿救众生，称名悉解脱。若有智慧者，殷勤为解说。但是有因缘，读诵口不错，诵经满千遍，念念心不绝，火焰不能生，刀兵力摧折，会怒生欢喜，死者变成活。莫言此事虚，诸佛不忘说。高王观世音，能救诸苦厄，临危急难中，死者变成活。诸佛语不虚，是故因顶礼，持诵满千遍，重罪皆消灭。后福坚信者，专攻受此经，愿以此功德，普及于一切，诵满一千遍，重罪皆消灭。高王观世音经中。共念七遍往生咒，南无阿弥多波耶，多他伽多耶，多得亚他，阿弥尼多波比，阿弥尼多舍旦波比，阿弥尼多比伽难得，阿弥尼多比伽难得。迦尼尼，迦迦那，吉多迦尼娑哈，南无阿弥多波耶，多他迦多耶，多得亚他，阿弥尼多波比，阿弥尼多舍旦波比，阿弥尼多比迦难得，阿弥尼多比迦难得，迦尼尼，迦迦那，吉多迦尼娑哈。南无阿弥多波耶，多他伽多耶，多得亚他，阿弥尼多波比，阿弥尼多舍旦波比，阿弥尼多比伽难得，阿弥尼多比伽难得，伽弥尼伽伽那，吉多伽尼娑哈。南无阿弥多波耶，多他伽多耶。多得亚他，阿弥尼多波比，阿弥尼多舍旦波比，阿弥尼多比伽难得，阿弥尼多比伽难得，伽弥尼伽伽那，吉多伽尼娑哈，南无阿弥多波耶，多他伽多耶，多得亚他，阿弥尼多波比，阿弥尼多舍旦波比，阿弥尼多比伽难得，阿弥尼多比伽难得。迦尼尼，迦迦那，吉多迦尼娑哈，南无阿弥多波耶，多他迦多耶，多得亚他，阿弥尼多波比，阿弥尼多舍旦波比，阿弥尼多比迦难得，阿弥尼多比迦难得，迦尼尼，迦迦那，吉多迦尼娑哈，南无阿弥多波耶，多他迦多耶，多得亚他，阿弥尼多波比，阿弥尼多舍旦波比。阿弥尼陀，比伽难得；阿弥尼陀，比伽难得；伽弥尼，伽伽那，吉多伽尼娑哈。
From the lineage of Guru Indra, we saw as the empowerment of the three lights by Padma Kumara. Om古鲁年生西地哄，Om古鲁年生西地哄，Om古鲁年生西地哄，Om古鲁年生西地哄，Om古鲁年生西地哄，Om古鲁年生西地哄，Om古鲁年生西地哄，Om古鲁年生西
嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍。嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍。嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍。嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍。嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍。嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍。嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍。嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍，嗡阿弥陀哇舍。Online cycle Buddha breathing enters samadhi.
加持，八大本尊心咒及念佛。阿弥陀佛，天，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿弥陀佛，阿เดียตาอุมเบคัตเจียเบคัตเจียมาฮะเบคัตเจียลาจาสัมโมคะเดเหสุขะนัมโมสัมสุริวันยิยิสุยวัน九千五百同名同号阿弥陀佛นัมโมสัมสุริวันยิยิสุยวัน九千五百同名同号阿弥陀佛นัมโมสัมสุริวันยิยิสุยวัน九千五百同名同号阿弥陀佛ดิเสธตำนานตราฟันทาราหุติสเปอร์เซปิเดมิกส์21ทายาตุตาลาตุนานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาลาตุตาลาตุนานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาลาตุตาลาตุนานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาลาตุตาลาตุนานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาราตุตาลาตุลานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาราตุตาลาตุลานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาราตุตาลาตุลานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาราตุตาลาตุลานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาราตุตาลาตุลานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาราตุตาลาตุลานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาราตุตาลาตุลานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาราตุตาลาตุลานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาราตุตาลาตุลานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาราตุตาลาตุลานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาราตุตาลาตุลานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาราตุตาลาตุลานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาราตุตาลาตุลานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาราตุตาลาตุลานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาราตุตาลาตุลานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาราตุตาลาตุลานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะองตาราตุตาลาตุลานาโมฮาราเฮราหมฮาราโซค่ะ请大家起念，请佛注释起愿文。Stay in the Saha world. I pay homage and supplicate His Holiness the Virtuous and Marvelous Tantrika, all Buddhas of the Ten Directions, Compassionate Bodhisattvas, Hedrukas, Dhammapalas, and Dakinis, Protectors of Dharma. The nights are long, the three poisons are proliferating. My body and soul are stricken, tumbling in the misery of perpetual rebirth. The Great Compassion, His Holiness, came to this world to salvage the deluded ones. Three jewels, eminent wonders, light to provide refuge for all. All fortunate beings, human and devas, rely on his vajra body. For the bestowal of teachings, vows, precepts, empowerments, and attainments, we disciples of Buddha plead that you stay in the Saha world to turn the Dharma wheel to benefit and give happiness to multitudes of sentient beings. They set the mantra of longevity Buddha 108 times and dedicate the marriage to the health and longevity of our lineage, Guru. Ong Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha. Ong Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha. Ong Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha. Ong Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha. Ong Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha. Ong Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha. Ong Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha. Ong Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha. Ong Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha. Ong Amano Ni Zu En Di E So Ha. 
。Om Ammano ni Zu Wen Di Ye So Ha。Om 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 Ammano ni Zu Wen Di Ye So Ha。
嗡，阿玛诺尼祖文帝耶苏哈，嗡，阿玛诺尼祖文帝耶苏哈，嗡，阿玛诺尼祖文帝耶苏哈，嗡，阿玛诺尼祖文帝耶苏哈，嗡，阿玛诺尼祖文帝耶苏哈，嗡，阿玛诺尼祖文帝耶苏哈，嗡，阿玛诺尼祖文帝耶苏哈。嗡阿玛诺尼祖文帝耶苏哈，嗡阿玛诺尼祖文帝耶苏哈，嗡阿玛诺尼祖文帝耶苏哈，嗡阿玛诺尼祖文帝耶苏哈，嗡阿玛诺尼祖文帝耶苏哈，嗡阿玛诺尼祖文帝耶苏哈，嗡阿玛诺尼祖文帝耶苏哈。嗡阿玛诺尼祖文帝耶苏哈，嗡阿玛诺尼祖文帝耶苏哈，嗡阿玛诺尼祖文帝耶苏哈，嗡阿玛诺尼祖文帝耶苏哈，嗡阿玛诺尼祖文帝耶苏哈。回向。净愿庄严安乐利，普济浊世诸有情，西方接引正无声。阿弥陀佛。Who uphold the Buddha, ascend to the realm of utmost bliss, repaying forfeit generosity from above, aiding those in the three realms below. Upon seeing the Buddha, may we transcend life and death. Like the Buddha, may we liberate all. To Buddha disciples who heartedly pray. To the chief of the realm of utmost bliss, Sukhawati, the Western Paradise, Namo Amitabha Tathagata. To please shower luminous Amrita everywhere. Please protect our lineage, Sri Guru, with great health, safety, and peace. Great bliss, self mastery, spontaneity, so that he can stay in samsara to continually turn the Dharma wheel. Homage to the Venerable Mang Liao Ming. Homage to Master Sakya Zheng Kong. Homage to His Holiness the Sixteen Kamapa. And homage to Master Dubdan Tarji. Today, we had the group practice of Amitabha Buddha. Deity Yoga, who had the day we pay homage to Amitabha Yidam. Homage to the ever attending Avalokiteswara Bodhisattva and Mahastama Prapta Bodhisattva. We pray to Amitabha Buddha. To guide true Buddha school disciples, that at the moment of death, the pure land trinity will appear and guide them to be reborn into the pure Buddha lands. We pray to Amitabha Yidam. To guide the sentient beings with affinity, to arrive at the pure land of the West, we pray to Amitabha Tathagata to radiate light and bless us. That all who uphold the Buddha, those who recite the Buddha's name and mantra, to receive the clear light radiance. To be guided. To the four levels of the Western Paradise, please 
please radiate light and bless all participants with good health all wishes fulfilled our calamities transform into our speciousness and with a strong spiritual commitment we pray to Amitabha Buddha, Aulokiteswara Bodhisattva, and Mahasthama Prabhta Bodhisattva to bless us so that we are diligent in our spiritual cultivation, in our Dharma practices, so that we don't get lazy even for a day. We increase our merits. like spoken in the Amitabha Sutra. May we gain the infant boundless merits so that we can be reborn in the Pure Land. Please bless us so that we are single-minded and in full concentration and can be reborn in the Pure Land. May our merits and meditations, our wisdom, can be complete. Wholeheartedly, we pay homage to Amitabha Tathagata, Avalokiteswara Bodhisattva, Mahasthama Prabhta Bodhisattva. Gods in heavens, gods on earth, may be far from all calamities, may all calamities abandon us, let all disasters turn into dust. May all of our prayers be granted in perfection. We pray to Amitabha Buddha, Avalokiteswara Bodhisattva, Mahasthama Prabhta Bodhisattva, to please bless us with the eradication of karma, this disappearance of the pandemic, the disappearance of the coronavirus enemies and enmities disappear. May all adversities, adverse affinities disappear. One! Sambiampa Takata, Pizza Mammy Mensa, Pizza Bawa, Maha Samaya, Sato A Home Om, Pizza Sato Samaya, Manu Banaya, Pizza Sato de Nu Badita, Zetzo Mepawa, Soto Kayu Mepawa, Sopo Kayu Mepawa. 
Anno la to me pa wa sarwa siti me puraya cha sarwa karma sutta me citta mu siri ren guru hum ha 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 he pa ka wen sarwa ta ta ka ta pe cha ma mi men cha pe zi pa wa ma ha samaya sato a hom pe om pe cha sato samaya manu pa na ya pe cha sato te nu pa di cha zi zo me pa wa su ตัวขายเมปาวะสุภูขายเมปาวะอันนุลัตตุเมปาวะสาวะสิทิเมปุรายะชะสาวะกาลมะสุชะเมสิตามุสิริรันกุโรหมฮะฮะฮะฮะเหปะกาวันสาวะตัตถะกัตตาเปจัมมามิมันชะเปจิปาวะมะฮะสัมมายะสัตโตอะหมเพ做观想大礼拜，一拜根本传承上师及诸佛。Great home association visualization for student guru and all Buddhas。三印，二拜诸菩萨。Second all Buddhas。观想第二，回天心三印，三拜诸菩萨。Third all Hindu and Dharma protectors。啊，哄观想第二，回天心三印，是平等以起手，念圆满咒。Om Brim, Om Brim, Om Brim, Om Mani Padme Hum. 让我们以热烈的掌声感谢根本传承上师法王圣尊莲生活佛加持同修圆满吉祥。敬献哈达，请大家恭敬合掌。请施莲燕上师代表全体弟子向法王圣尊莲生活佛请法开示，敬献哈达，以表最崇高敬意。请大家一起虔诚恭敬合掌，恭请法王圣尊莲生活佛做宝贵的法语开示。Let us now join our palms with reverence, and together we invite His Holiness to bestow the precious Dharma teachings. 后面是多玛斯的萨迦真空，后面是多伊索罗那的十四卡玛巴，而后面是多玛斯的独等多吉，后面是多伊索罗那的十四卡玛巴，后面是多伊索罗那的十四卡玛巴，后面是多伊索罗那的十四卡玛巴，后面是多伊索罗那的十四卡玛巴，后面是多伊索罗那的。各位上师、教授师、法师、讲师、助教、堂主，各位同门，还有网络上的同门。是吗？林波杰，我的大妈 ，masters， 大妈 ，educators， 大妈 ，teachers， 大妈 ，lecturers， 大妈 ，assistants，directors of temples， and everybody present here over the internet， how do you do？ 爱してる。知らない。オラミコ。ケケロムチョ。すごい。一番。気持ちいい。住民。ヤビ。ブリンブリン。こんばんは。
今天这个大家，我回向的时候啊，我念这个。呃 ，today when I was dedicating the merit, I already called upon、uh, the names of my four gurus. <laughs> Maybe you for you thought that Grandmaster forgot that that、uh, it's about to teach Dharma, but actually that's not the case because this evening, oh, the auspicious light who is very radiant, the the.、Uh, Rays of precious, auspicious lights around here. I saw the descent of these four gurus. So Amitabha Buddha, Avalokiteshwara Bodhisattva, Mahasamma Bodhisattva, and all the members of the Lotus Division all descended. So, they're all rays of lights. The whole temple, and actually in the whole sky. So earlier, they were all. Bright light in front of my eyes, and they were just sparkling and shining very brightly. And not anymore now, but at the beginning it was. So that's why I called upon the four gurus. Perhaps you thought that Grandmaster was、um, making mistakes. That act. In reality, is because I saw the four gurus, I saw the Venerable Mang Liao Ming, Master Sakya Zheng Kong, the His Holiness the Sixteen Kamapa, and Master Dukden Dorji. And because I was very happy, that's why I called upon you their names, and then. I called on Amitabha Buddha, Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva, and Mahasthama Prapta Bodhisattva. We know that Amitabha Buddha had、uh, four levels of、uh, pure land. The pure land of the、uh, both sage and mundane beings. And then the highest one is the pure land of、uh, permanent、um, extinction, and the other three. So, if you have gotten to the highest level of the pure land, you will not be reborn in the in the Saha world. But if you're at the lowest、uh, pure land, which is the pure land where the mundane and the sages reside, that's because you、uh, chanted the Buddha's name and mantra, and you didn't have spiritual union. But you chant the Buddha's name and mantra, and you're single-minded, which means you're already in meditation. That your mind has been settled. 
that at the moment of death you have chanted the Buddha's name and you are mindful of the Pure Land Trinity, then you would be guided there. But your pure, your karma is not completely eradicated. So you would be guided to the pure land where the mundane and the sages reside together. So there is a place for the mundane as well. So if you're non-returning, if you don't abandon it, then you will attain Buddhahood eventually. Because once you get there, there would be sages or holy beings that would teach you how to go to the, the next level and then the next level and then to the highest one, which is the pure land where the um, the permanent extinction. Uh, so when you reach to the highest level of pure land, that is the nirvana without remains, which is the same as Buddhahood. Which means you don't have the fruits of life and death anymore. So you have no more the fruition of birth and death. That is called nirvana without remains. But if you go to the uh, pure land with remains, that would be nirvana with remains. That's the third level. So there is no birth and death cause. There's no the cause of for birth and death. And uh, what is the uh, convenient pure land with pure with remain? That's the third level which is you're already in meditation. You're not in the six rebirth realms anymore. But there's the uh, transform life and death, but it's not the six rebirth realms. It is rather difficult to explain. So what kind of life and death for the mundane beings? It's like pieces in pieces. So what does it mean in pieces? You die, it's a death of a mundane being. So it's broken into pieces that the life is broken, then you enter into the bardo state. The death, by death it's broken, then it's the bardo spirit, and then birth, and then another bardo, and another death, and another bardo. So that's the life and death in pieces. So the life and death of mundane beings is suffering, but the uh, the transformed uh, life and death is very is in a flash. It's very f swift. There is no reaper cycle there. In the journey of the West novel, it talked about the uh, the monk Tang who went to the Western paradise. 
and there was a river there, and his three disciples asked the monk Tang to get onto the boat. There's a boat. So they asked the monk to get on the boat without bottom. It's just water. A boat with water underneath. And the monk Tang said, How come there's a boat like this? Both has bottom. Then when you get on it, you would die, right? But his disciple, the monkey king, asked him to get on the boat, and he did. And once he got on the boat, he's fine. He could still sit on the boat, but not long. They saw a corpse flowing on the river, and when they took a look, it was the corpse of the monk Tang. So what does it mean? The one on the boat is not the physical being of the monk Tang. But it's the varied life and death monk. And from then on, there is no more physical body. So that kind of life and death is called the variation of varied life and death. So you can change like as you want, as you wish. However youthful you want to be, however handsome you want to be, you can always be youthful. It can be transformed immediately. So that kind of transformed or varied or variation, life and death. Then there's no more physical being, no more burials by the earth, water, fire, or on the plant. No more rebirth cycle of the six rebirth realms. So, the key thing once you get to the Sukhavati is that it, it's not returning. Therefore, we all want to strive to be reborn in Sukhavati. So that we want, if we can have Amitabha Buddha to guide us to the pure lands, then we are at peace. That all the worldly affairs, big and small, it's not even as big as a sesame seed. They're all just farts. So when you come for spiritual consultation, actually they are all just forts. Uh. So you still care about mundane affairs, then you are not spiritual cultivator or sadaka. Like how much you have in your bank account, and you haggle over it, that's truly mundane. And who is bullying you today, that is mundane. You 
and pain here and pain there or whatever, that's all mundane. That even if you meet a fa favorable, helpful people, that's also mundane. And you still talk about money, about nobility, about wealth, prosperity, houses, cars. If you still think of this, that's all mundane. And the most sacred today is to be born in the Buddha land, pure land, and to have this variant uh, life and death, no more six rebirth cycle. And then oh, a step further, that there is no cause of life and death with the nirvana with remains and then if you progress further there is no cause for life and death there would be nirvana without remains that would be the fundamentals the basic otherwise what would spiritual cultivation is all about so don't care about all those little things why are you so concerned about them? No need to consult for those minor things. Why do you still come for spiritual consultation? The reason is because I'm still giving spiritual consultation is to resolve the mundane issues Actually, there is no merits whatsoever. Therefore, Bodhidharma said the most statement, where there be any merits. The Emperor Wu of Liang said, I have built so many temples south of the river. I have built so many temples and I have a uh, race or take care of so many monks and nuns that should have generated so much merits, right? And Bodhidharma directly replied to him, no merits whatsoever, because he used the highest standard uh, to talk about merits. So revolving the afflictions of people, to give happiness to people, to resolve their sufferings, and to do it with joy. And you forsake everything equally even the loving kindness compassion joy and equanimity have no merits whatsoever it is a very small fruit uh, between heaven and earth but however why do we still need to or do we want to accumulate those merits is you need to have this merits in order to meet the true authentic guru or uh, spiritual guidance to teach you otherwise without encountering a good true guru and instead you encounter a fraudulent or fake guru then you would still be in the rebirth cycle so that's I would like to share at the beginning of this Dharma teaching. So Bodhidharma taught teachings in terms of the ultimate, there is no merits whatsoever. However, in the human world, we still want to accumulate merits. We still want to help beings and help people is to accumulate merits so that in the future we can meet a true, authentic spiritual guide in to teach us. 
so that by your merits you can be reborn in the pure Buddha lands, so that you have the affinity to meet the true authentic guru or spiritual guide. Prior to the Dharma teaching, I would like to start with a joke. On the train, there's an elderly man, and next to him was a young mom ca carrying her child, who's pulling her clothes off her breast. And she kept saying, no, 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 it's not time yet. I will give you a drink after a few stations. After passing a few stations, she opened her bag and took a milk bottle. And the elderly man got off the train immediately. And she, he kept saying, uh, she didn't say that it was just about the bottle. Uh, so uh, that made me miss a few stations already. That's mundane, truly mundane. So now we'll do question and answer. Question from Malaysia. Homage to the teacher of heaven and earth, the Lenin Sud Guru, Solomon's Living Buddha Lian Shang, Grandmaster, auspicious, Simo auspicious. First question. When I initially enter Samadhi, being in union with the Yida, I feel full of Dharma joy and everywhere is clear light. But after a while, thoughts of self-existence give rise to all sorts of distractive thoughts. No matter what methods I use to ignore or stop them, it's hard to get back in. Grandmaster, how should I overcome this obstacle? So congratulations, Lian Hua Xiang, that he could enter and exit Samadhi, or initially entering Samadhi in union with the Yida and feel full of Dharma joy. That's bliss. So that's the sensation of bliss. Everywhere is clear light. That's right. Like what Grandmaster sought, clear light everywhere. Clear light radiance everywhere. But after a while, thoughts of self-existence appear. You start to feel yourself. So that means you exit from Samadhi then all sorts of thoughts appear. Whether I try to ignore it or stop them, it's hard to get back in. Let me tell you. According to what I transmitted in Singapore, at that time, what did I teach? The nine stages of entering meditation. Nine stages of entering meditation. I was talking about this. You gradually increase the time of your meditation, the duration of your meditation. 
Initially, when you enter samadhi or meditation, you didn't say how long. When you start to be aware of yourself, that means you have exit from samadhi. When you are in samadhi, you feel the Dharma joy and everywhere is clear light radiance. That's right. The yidam is in union with you. The yidam is you and you are the yidam. And you feel of Dharma joy and everywhere is clear light radiance. But after a while, perhaps five minutes or ten minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. If you can meditate for 25 minutes, that's already very good. That's really not bad already. Then you have passed. That every time you meditate, you can be in meditation for 25 minutes before you exit from samadhi. That's very good already. That means you have passed. If you can increase it, like me, one time I meditated at 2 a.m. When I exited from it, it was 4 a.m., so I was in meditation for two hours. In the middle of the night, I would practice, and after I complete my practice, exit from samadhi, then I would sleep. Every night I do that. I never stop. Now I do bardu deliverance every night. All those who died from coronavirus, I would uh, invite them all by Golden Mother's great majestic power to bless them, by Amitabha Buddha's uh, real power to guide them to the Pure Land using Dharma ship that they filled the Dharma ships and together they are guided to the Western Paradise of Amitabha Buddha. I do it every night. I never skip a night. And then I enter Samadhi. Last night I saw Amitabha Buddha. And Amitabha Buddha, one like here, and first I saw the sun, the light rays, light rays, and at the center, there's a, a dot, and then a cycle, a circle, and then it's becoming brighter and brighter, and Amitabha Buddha is right in the middle of it. And then the night before, I saw Avalokiteshvara Bodhisattva holding the nectar vase, and sprinkling the nectar upon me. And I was showered uh, by the pure nectar, nectar. So every day there's something. So you gradually increase the length of your meditation. So you don't need to be worried about this. This is not considered an obstacle. It just means you exit from samadhi. That thoughts start to appearing, to appear, and you start to feel that you exist. That means you exit from samadhi. The venerable elder Xu Yun meditated in Thailand for ten days. And because he meditated for so long, he was still alive, passing the first day, second, third, fourth days. And more and more people came to visit him. And even the king of Thailand knew about it and came to f for pilgrimage to see him. So he was in meditation for 10 days. Is there a Tripura disciple who could sit here for one day? 
One day it's possible. I shouldn't say that. After a day and a night, and the second and the third, and they don't eat at all, and then asking them to go eat, and they just completely ignore. That means the meditation. Then I would pay homage to that person. If you can do it for three days and nights without eating and drinking, and of course you don't need to defecate or urinate. You just sit there and move. And the Venerable Elder Xu Yun could do it for ten days. And one time, from Puto, Mount Puto, Zhejiang to Mount Wutai, he paid, he bowed, he paid homage every three steps. So from Puto San to Wutai San. The Mount Puto in Zhejiang to Mount Wutai in Sanxi. And then he was uh, cooking some yam inside the tent. It was snowing outside. He wanted to eat the yam. So he thought he would meditate while waiting. But when he woke up, when he exited from Samadhi, everything dried up. The fire is gone, and there was even mold on the yam. So already moldy. So how long did he meditate it? Just imagine how many days he meditated that the yam got moldy. Didn't even know. So entering meditation, continuing to increase, your running thoughts continuing to decrease. And when you increase to a score of 10, then you have attainment. So by increasing a stage, then your thoughts are gradually decreasing or diminishing until eventually you have no more, no more thoughts. No. So that even when you exit from meditation, you're still in meditation. What does it mean? Is that the person has no self, and everything has no me or ego. So the person has no self, and everything has no self. Then attachments to self and to everything are eliminated. That means you're always in meditation all your life. You never never feel that self exists. You never have thoughts about yourself. So the person has no self. And when you are doing the Dhamma practice, you don't even know that you are doing the Dhamma practice. That means the Dharma has no self. Like Sakyamuni Buddha, everything is in meditation. Doesn't matter what he does, what he did, he was in meditation. If you can cultivate spiritually until you reach such a state, then you attain Buddhahood in this lifetime. That's the answer to Lianhua Jixiang. One is increasing, one is decreasing. You're increasing your meditation power, and you are decreasing your thoughts. 
Then gradually you increasing the duration of your meditation time. When you practice the Vajra chanting, when Qi enters navel chakra to melt the R character, I naturally fart. Sorry for the rudeness. Should I close off? and lift up my anus so that I don't let out any gas? Or is my qi just buts in? That mm, you naturally fart. <laughs> Just with one fart. <laughs> oh, two farts. That's fine. Because you don't want to hold the chi. If the chi wants to get out, just let it out. Then you lift up your anus again. Sometimes you forget to lift up your anus. You lift up your anus, but don't pay attention to it. Just let it be natural. And it's okay to let out the gas a little bit. It's okay. It's a natural phenomena. It's not qi leaking or butts in. It's okay. And this is talking from experience. Uh, f uh, people with no experience would say, oh, you have to hold the qi. You have to hold the, the farts. Like when you were with your girlfriends, when you were dating, you never fart. When I was young, I did it, and even when I have gas and I wanted to let go of the ba gas, I would hold it only after I bye bye with my girlfriend and walk further, then I started to let up. That's natural phenomena. Like when a lady is dating with a man and you continue to fart all the time, then the man would feel... Because in, in dating, you want to show the best side of you, for both men and women. Yeah, yeah. There's this joke. A man went to see a great master and said, My wife is very, uh, uh, very fierce to me, but my mistress is very nice and gentle to me. What should I do? And the master replied, Never very wise. <laughs> Never believe. In oh, in that show, because once she got, uh, once she got uh, to the position, then she would be all the same. When she's just a mistress, she's very caring and kind and gentle and tender. It's just about missing you, longing for you, and loving you every second and minute. That is all you in her heart. But once she gets to be your wife, that's the end of it. You're dead.
真的，你当初你约会的谁谁敢放 ？Right, when you were dating, do you dare to fart? No. But once you get married, oh, who cares? She starts to fart from the morning all day. After marriage, that's it. It's better to be girlfriends and boyfriends. So farting is a normal thing. From Indonesia, Lianhua Youxiang. <laughs> so it's truly fragrant, even the fart. <laughs> Beloved Grandmaster, my questions are about Mahamayuri practice. Grandmaster once said that Mahamayuri is both Yidam and protector. And in your reply letter, you suggested that I practice Mahamayuri Yidam and Protector. Should I do the Yidam and Protector practices separately, or by practicing the Mahamayuri Deity Yoga? It means that I have done both Yidam and Protector practices. What do you think? Nobody replied. That's right. Once you gain spiritual response with Mahamayuri, then he is both your yidam and protector. So Guru Padma Sambhava's Yidam is Singamuka, and she's also his protector. So it's his Yidam, protector, and Guru. So Guru, Yidam, and protector are Singamuka. So, so Mahamayuri Deity Yoga. That's means it's both Yidam and protector practices. When visualizing myself to be in union with Mahamayuri, am I in union with Mahamayuri alone without the peacock, or including his peacock throne? This means you think too much. You can analyze in my Mahamayuri Dharma practice. I am in union with Mahamayuri <laughs> without the peacock, or even including the peacock, but without the peacock's feet. <laughs> so you separate the feet from the peacock because the feet are ugly. <laughs> Actually, you're in union. So, when you practice to be in union with Mahamayuri, Mahamayuri, 
这摩伊利格拉蒂就是孔雀明王。So Moili Gelati, that's Mahamayuri. That means it's including the Mahamayuri and the peacock. They all together. So you cannot say that you just includes the peacock, but not the feet. I often dream of myself being very light and flying when I sleep or in meditation. I feel. Flows of warmth. What should I do about it? That's very good. That's good. I often dream of myself flying. So the restaurant is on the eighth floor. I didn't take the elevator. I stand in front of the restaurant, and the person keeps flying up, levitating, and the window opens, and then I flew through the window. And then I sat on the seat and started to order. And everybody in the restaurant saw me flying in. Wow! He flew from the ground to the eighth floor and ate at the restaurant. That's my dream this past few days. I flew to the through the mountains, the rivers, flew to the pure lands. And I saw people like ants. And I flew in the sky, and they couldn't fly. Ah, very good. 常常身体非常轻，可以飞，但是业障很少。So if you feel your body is very light and you can fly, that means your karma is very light. That's the sign that your karma is very light. 在睡的时候啊，即静坐的时候，全身有软流。When you sleep or in meditation, you feel flows of warmth all over your body. That means that inner fire has arisen. When you sleep, the inner fire is circulating inside your body, or in meditation. You don't need to do anything; just let it circulate naturally. You, if you, if you feel your body is not comfortable, if you feel discomfort in any part of the body, then you think of that part and to let it uh, go to that place a little bit more. Then the discomfort will disappear. Most elderly at forties problems with your waist or backs, and at fifties you have problems with your shoulders. But I, until this year, I will not say how old I am. Some people never say their age. Even even if you beat them, say how old you are, but they never say. Even when they're already so old. They would never say it because age is somebody's secret. <laughs> It's also secret to grandmaster. 
but my age is more than when Confucius died. Confucius died at 73. And at 60, Su Dongpo uh, released all of his uh, wives to let them marry somebody else's when he was 60. Su Dongpo sent away all his wives and he just kept one, Aran, Xiao Ran, accompanying him. And the rest were sent away, perhaps because Microsoft. <laughs> But as for me, I still have the Yi Yang Lai Fu, which means when the Qi feels to that place, it could still. Um, uh, open the umbrella, which means when you're in at sleep at night, there's an umbrella opened in your bed. That means because when the young qi enters, even for babies, he's just very tiny but it could still erect or stand up. The young people and for the elderly, usually they wither. Like Su Dongpo, when he was 60, he sent away all of his wives and only kept Xiao Ruan. So if you have a warmth flow, that's good. So those are signs when you have backache or shoulder ache at 40s or 50s. So only this year I had a little bit of pain in my shoulder. And I was at the Rainbow Temple, I could not lift up my arm. Remember one night, one day? And I thought, oh no, I could not lift my arm anymore. Couldn't extend it straight. Anybody saw that when I was at the Rainbow Temple? Many. But it only lasted for one day. Because I need to give blessings to other people. And I need to set protections for my room or for Simu's room, and I have to bless Simu. So how could I not lift my arms? I have to chant mantra too. To block the doors, the windows, the sky, the earth. So I have to give blessings. So how could I not lift my arms, not able to lift my arms, and how could I perform blessings? So that happened only fun one day. I prayed to Golden Mother 
and then I circulated my inner fire at those places a few more times and then I could lift my arms again. That's a real story. So when it happened, I could not lift my arm, but after I got home, I prayed and and I know about life, my lifespan too. And Amitabha Buddha told me that he would extend my lifespan three years. I said, only three years? That's so still. And then he asked me, then when would you want to go? And I said, I'm still very happy nowadays. When I'm not happy anymore, you can let me die. Yes, I am a happy person. Every day I'm very happy. When I'm unhappy already, then it's time for me to go. I know about my lifespan, my own lifespan. And Amitabha Buddha said that he would extend it by three years. But that's not enough. Because I still have the young laifu, the one young coming back. Oh, isn't that too early? And I told Golden Mother, what would you want to do in the human world when it's time to go, it's time to go. But Amitabha Buddha wanted to extend my lifespan three years. Mm. So do I want to extend it or do I want to stay? Amitabha Buddha asked me, what do you want to do in the human world? You think that human life is happy? It's like wa fish in scanty water. Is there any happiness? Bodhidharma said, is there any happiness in the world? When Sakyamuni Buddha gave a teaching, the first statement was, For the bhiksu, bhiksuni, upasaka, upasakis, listen, this life is suffering. The first statement of the Buddha's Dharma teaching. Therefore, Sakyamuni Buddha regarded that human life is suffering. And because it is suffering, you want to cultivate spiritually. Uh, the beautiful female teacher explained to the students Zhu is suckling, like pig suckling, or the pigeon suckling. That means it's a word in Chinese. <laughs> this is only funny in Chinese. Lasting
，我现在我的乳头都想破了。<笑>所以，如有乳的用法，啊，如有乳的用法，不能够完全啊，都那个。So sometimes、uh, terms or idioms mean different things. Now we will talk about Lamde. 宋银终极界，虽已是集会处宫殿。Now, this is a brief explanation on the spiritual experiences of the Middle Accumulation Period. The verse in quote, Middle Accumulation Period, refers to the palaces of the four accumulation areas with the gathering of the potentially accumulable mind qi as the parents and the slightly lucid gathering as the reason. The verse in quotes, with the qi as a knife to open the channel knots, refers to the slight aches in the channel and qi like a balmy spring breeze. The verse in pain, in quote, pain of light drops, refers to the overflowing light drops in all channels which generate pleasurable pain. It is of utmost importance to guard against leakage. The verse, in quotes, vivid sights, end quote, refers that by relying on the slightly clear ambrosia and slightly robust qi, it is not an exaggeration to say that one is able to have these sightings, which is the beginning of the transcendent power with leakage. So, the palaces of the four accumulation areas. We know about the five chakras. The brow chakra is the highest one. So, if it's four, then it's without the brow chakra. So the throat chakra is the palace of the accumulation, the heart chakra, the navel chakra, and the secret chakra. They are the palaces of the accumulation areas. The gathering of the mind qi as the parents. Mind is the thoughts, and the qi, the air that you breathe in, Or the fire gathering there, water and fire are together with the qi. You use your qi to harmonize the water and fire. And you use your mind to accumulate at the palaces. Qi, light drops, and inner fire harmonize together with your thought or your mind together at the four palaces. The parents, the father is the fire. And the water, or the mother, is the light drops or water. And by gathering there frequently, gradually, it would start to clarify. So to open the channels and the chakras. Which is to open your chakras. The verse in quotes, with the qi as a knife to open the channel knots. End quote. Refers to the slight aches in the channel and qi like a balmy spring breeze. So it's just a little ache, and it's pleasurable ache. It's not the True pain. 
So, ache or pain when you open the channel, sometimes it's pleasurable ache. So, Chinese words are really the best. When we say tong kuai, <laughs> oh, tong kuai, oh, pressurable. It's <laughs> so joyly or delight is it's pain and happiness together. So it's a little bit of ache and a little bit of pleasure in there. It's hard to describe. That's the pain of light drops. Like a balmy spring breeze. And the pain of light drops, overflowing light drops. For elderly people, they don't have saliva anymore, but I salivate all day long. When you're old, uh, you would have dry mouth, and you have to drink all the time. But I salivate even when I give Dharma teaching. Can you hear it? So I continue to salivate. Those are like drops. So when the light drops are overflowing in all channels, and you have lots of light drops, then you have no illness because the light drops are circulating smoothly. Because you have the light drops flowing any time, it would generate the pleasurable pain. Yeah, the pleasurable ache, it's very hard to describe. In Chinese, we say Tong Kuai heartily that it's aching, but it feels good. <laughs> it's really hard to say. Tong Kuai. Delighted or oh, jolly. So it's utmost important to guard against leakage. And I have no leakage at all. But in your practice, you have to guard against le leakage. When the bliss is appearing, immediately you have to cut it off. You have to turn your thought. Sometimes the long home twice and the short home ten times. And you visualize the sit syllable in the sky and you place your mind there. Don't feel the bliss anymore. And when the bliss diminishes, you start again. Then you can extend. The most important is not to leak. Leakage is also pain and pleasure mixed together. So at this time you have a vivid or robust sights. And I am already non-leaking. There is no need to guard because you are already non-leaking. That light drops will never leak from your body. 
at that time that your body and mind would be very clear and you would start to have transcendent power with leakage. So if you're non-leaking, then you would definitely have transcendent power. As long as you have the channels open and smooth, that the, the heart chakra, the navel chakra, the secret chakra all open, then you will definitely have transcendent power. That you would be able to see uh, Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, and uh, Yidam, like yesterday. And that I would be able to see the four gurus descending then you would be able to see all those, to see the the Yidam and all the lights. Last night, with my wife, we watched the horror movies, and it was so funny that she was so scared, but if I didn't, if I didn't uh, faint first. The husband said, friends coming for dinner always say that you're very good, that you can uphold the house and oh that the wife can uphold the house maintain the house really well that's very important but and how about you happy oh because i can choose the right wife simu has a strength which is she can uh uphold uh, the house to housekeep really well and not just housekeeping but also the school keeping I personally feel that uh, drinking alcohol can definitely prevent the epidemic you know why? Because when you're drunk, you will not be able to leave the house. And there's one more secret. That uh, the alcohol can kill the germs. So I drink the the alcohol to strengthen the bones. Fifty-eight proof. Do you drink? No. <laughs> then you don't kill the germs? You cannot drink alcohol. Alcohol is one of the five precepts because uh, getting drunk, you can lose control. And 
you should not also harm your liver. You can only drink if you can still be in control, under self-control. But in Grandmaster's view, if you're drunk, then you're violating the precepts. If you just drink a tiny little bit, a tonic wine is okay, as the medicinal drink is okay. But once you're drunk, then you're violating the precepts. Then you're violating the five precepts. Uh, the wife left a message uh, to the husband who worked late. I left you the ginseng chicken and the black bone chicken on the table. But if that's not enough for you, not enough tonifying for you, there's an old hen on the bed I too. You know, spiritual cultivation for man has to be non-leaking the white body. And the woman should practice until they are not leaking the red body. When they're young, they have to stop the red body already, not because of menopause. Remember that. Uh, there's a niece at home, five years old, very naughty, and broke a bowl. And how did you break it? And then he took another bowl, she took another bowl and then threw it. Oh, this is how I broke the bowl. <laughs> Oh, money, pay me home. Very grateful to Grandmaster's precious Dharma teachings. We have several announcements. Tomorrow, on November 29th, at 3 p.m., His Holiness will be at the Rainbow Temple to preside over Mahota Manohara Homa Fire Offering Ceremony. Manohara. And for details, please check the TB Rainbow website. And we will, we will, we have an event to provide warmth for the needy in the winter time. And if you would like to donate and help, uh, please find someone at the temple. Now we're inviting His Holiness to bless the Great Compassion Holy Water and to consecrate Buddha images.
给你坛城做大礼拜，一拜根本传承上师及诸佛。嗡啊吽。二拜诸菩萨，嗡、啊，吽。三拜诸护法金刚，嗡、啊，吽。四平等一起手。同修会圆满吉祥结束了，感谢根本传承上师的大加持，感谢师母，也不切诸位上师、教授、师法师，同门善信大德的护持，谢谢大家，阿弥陀佛。网络直播到此结束，谢谢大家的观看。We now conclude this live broadcast. Thank you for viewing. 现在我们恭请师尊以佛尘加。